In the earlier rounds, I'm strong. In the later rounds, I get strong. And I feel that I, I, I can't beat Mike Tyson. Speed, strength, and aggression. These made Mike Tyson the most dangerous person on the planet. His boxing style was both ferocious and intimidating, which was better and more powerful than the style of most other boxers in the ring. But despite this, many of his opponents promised to knock out Tyson. In this video, we show you Mike Tyson's opponents before and after the fight. Actually, you hear all trainers and other fighters, they'll say, don't fight in another guy's game when I plan to get right in his game with him. This guy's vulnerable, makes, makes lots of mistakes, and I can, I can hurt him, and I'm gonna hurt him Friday. Yeah. With what? <laughs> I, just, I just, just come to the fight and see. I'm go, I have a few things I wanna show to Mr. Tyson, and I choose not to say, but uh, it'll be, pretty evident when the fight starts. There is something to hurt him, and I know what it is. Mike Tyson versus Lorenzo Boyd. Mike Tyson's fastest knockout, 37 seconds in the first round. Robert Coley last time for an opening. I know Boyd wants to come in with the uppercut, but hasn't shown it. Going into close range, Boyd tries to break through Mike's defense, but in vain. Tyson calmly approaches him and hits him with his signature combination of a right hook to the body and right uppercut to the head. Lorenzo falls onto the canvas. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. He's stronger than I thought he was. Uh, he caught me real good in the rib cage down here on the uh, left side and I became fearful then. Is he the hardest hitter you've ever been in with? Yes, I, I fought at Terry Anderson, and they considered him a big banger, but uh, he doesn't punch anything like Mike. In your opinion, can this man, Mike Tyson, beat any heavyweight in the world right now? Yes, he'll go all the way. The only thing I really see is me beating Mike Tyson. It's just like a dream just keeps on coming. Just like climbing a mountain, you gotta work you up to the top. And when you reach there, you're on top of the mountain. And I'm thinking Mike Tyson is the mountain. I have to climb all over. Ladies and gentlemen, Don King Productions, in association with the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino here on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey, present the feature bout of the evening. I mean, this is what I've dreamt about, being in a major fight where the opponent is just as good. And you just have to have that little edge. Mike Tyson versus Alex Stewart. Protect yourself at all He's times. Like you, baby. Focus. 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 Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. The question as an old Tyson fight. As soon as the fight started, Tyson went on the attack and made an excellent combination, after which Stewart fell to the canvas. After another clinch, Tyson misses with a long right swing, but immediately adds a short and precise left hook to the head. The opponent falls under the ropes. Well, Stewart said that Tyson was a mountain. He had a climb. He just got knocked off that mountain. You describe what happened? Just got caught early, that's all. What is it like in there with this Tyson who seems very quick and even skillful in the bombs he's throwing? Just, just I didn't get off, that's all. Just didn't get off, that's all. Thank you very much, Alex. I plan on fighting him back, using my experience, 
my bread and butter punch was the left hook and keep him at bay. I don't want to run from him. I want to stay there and fight him because nobody hasn't done that and see how he, re he reacts. In earlier rounds, I'm strong. In the later rounds, I get stronger. And I feel that I, I, I can beat Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson versus Jesse Ferguson. This fight was supposed to show that Mike Tyson was a serious contender for the world title and not just an exaggerated figure, as many still believed he was. The fifth round. Tyson presses Ferguson to the ropes where he carries out his signature combination of a right hook to the body and right uppercut to the head. Jesse falls to the canvas. I just um, got off my game plan, but uh, Mike is, is a good fighter. But, um, I just got off my game plan. You said yesterday that you were worried about the uppercut. It was indeed the uppercut that he caught you with. Yeah, he got me on the nose, and it, it dazed me. Water went in my eyes, and I went out. I believe that what I've been through, and as good as I am, I know that I, I know how good I am. And for me to have been criticized and the whole shot, I mean. You know, I owe it to myself to go out there and beat Michael Tyson like I am his dad. It's, he's made for me, Ty's son. I, I owe it to myself to go out there and beat this fella and be called the new undisputed heavyweight champion in the world. Mike Tyson versus Tyrell Biggs. The fight lasted until the seventh round. At the very beginning, Tyrell immediately enters the clinch. Tyson strikes from the left. He hits with a forearm and knocks out Big's mouthpiece. Another lingering clinch, and Mike Tyson throws a hard, short left strike to Tyrell's temple. Tyrell Biggs falls out of the ropes. His face is covered with blood, but he still manages to get up to the count of nine and decides to continue the fight. Breaking the distance a little, Tyson thrust another left side to the jaw. The blow was the last for Tyrell Biggs. him down was it just constantly the body punches when I was, I was hitting him with body punches and I heard him actually he was crying in there making woman gestures like oh, oh, oh. I can't How, yeah. find him but I knew that he was breaking down soon I think that Tyson's so used to going in and, and racking guys on the chin and knocking them cold and walking away um, I think Smith just proved the point that you know the kid is not uh, invincible he's just too young to understand <laughs> I think I forgot about more than he probably knows or will probably learn in anything. So he's got to go to school yet. And he hasn't faced an opponent like me. He hasn't faced the caliber of a fighter like me. He hasn't faced a real champion. And I'm a champion. Mike Tyson versus Pinklin Thomas. This fight was for the WBC and WBA titles at once. From about the middle of the sixth round, a real beating begins in the ring. Thomas misses an incoming monstrous left hook. Then Mike Tyson throws 17 more powerful unanswered blows to the head with both hands. Pinklin Thomas fell to the canvas. This is a knockout. Angelo Dundee says no. The corner cannot stop a championship fight. I think he counted him out. I'm not sure if that's going to be scored as a TKO or a knockout. 
I think he may have counted him out. We'll have to wait and get the official scoring. Beautiful, beautiful. To hear exactly how it goes. Good fight, man. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Awesome. It's my pleasure to give you a shot at the title. Yeah, you deserve it. Answer the question, bro. Earlier tonight, I commented that too often it seems that the water comes to the top in the heavyweight division. But in this last fight, we did see the cream come to the top. Michael Tyson, obviously the best heavyweight in the world right now. The winner by a GKO and still WBC, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Please do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new episodes about the boxing legends of the past. See you next time.